Hi guys, Adrian, one of the podiatrists from the Foot and Balance Centre back again. Today we're going to be talking about trail shoes, in particular the ASICS Trabuco Max 2, for which I'd like to thank ASICS Australia and Mill Steel. Now this is the top of the range ASICS outdoor trail shoe. It's designed for climbing rocks, climbing moss, getting through the mud, crossing asphalt, crossing the rivers. It's really an outdoor terrain shoe. The most important element to this shoe, in my opinion, is the FF Blast Plus. Now this is ASICS top of the range EVA. It's actually a combination of EVA, what they call a cake mix. Now, the most important thing about this cake mix is its characteristic of cushioning, bounce back or retention, and essentially durability. There is a massive midsole stack to this shoe, and that's all about absorbing the shock and allowing the foot to move around obstacles on the track, be it sharp rocks or large sticks, which we'll show you later on outside. The stack between the rear foot and the forefoot is about a five mil drop. And that's the difference between 43 millimeters at the heel to 38 millimeters in the front of the foot. The Flight Foam Blast Plus Positive is actually 19% lighter than the previous EVA that they've been using. The shoe is designed for the neutral runner. It's true to size in terms of the width. There's an overlay in the front of the shoe of about two millimeters. And that's to prevent the foot from going through the end of the shoe when you're going down hills. It's also to protect the foot from sticks and rocks. At the back, there's an overlay on the lateral side and medial side, and that's to support the back of the foot as the heel hits the ground. There's a new Jacquard upper mesh material, which they use to improve the breathability and the comfort of the foot and shoe overall. There's a new lacing system. Now the guide sole technology is actually built into the midsole and this is a really impressive element that the ASICs have incorporated in most of their top of the range shoes. It's designed to help conserve energy and create an easy forward roll to the foot. This is an innovative rocker sole design. There's a firmer layer of FF Lite technology which provides a cushioning and structure and a second layer of FF Propel technology which gives the sole a nice, soft, bouncy feel. In the heel, they've incorporated the ASICS gel material, and that's to absorb the shock upon heel strike. The science behind the guide sole technology is shock absorption, which leads to less fatigue in the runner. There's a curved sole and stiff forefoot, which actually decreases ankle flexion, and it actually allows the other muscles of your feet and legs to work less. If we flip it upside down, you'll see that this ASICS grip outsole they've incorporated in this shoe. These little guys here are called lugs. The spacing between these lugs allows the runner to grip onto slipper material such as rocks and moss and mud. But the flatness of the ends of the lugs actually stops the foot from catching on asphalt or pavement should that be incorporated inside the run as well. There's an Ortholite sock liner, which provides a soft step-in comfort. The gaiter system. This actually allows the runner to attach a gaiter to the shoe. It's attached to the front, top, and back tag of the shoe. It's actually a wraparound closure system, which keeps the foot and ankle clean from dirt and mud and sticks, etc. They've added reflective elements to the shoe for safety. So let's give these shoes a crack. We're gonna go outside and take them for a spin on the trails. The ASICS Trabuca Max 2 is a fantastic trail shoe. It's high sitting, it's supportive, it's comfortable, it absorbs all the shock. Fantastic shoe ASICS, good job.